Hey. Go ahead. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? Yeah, I'll keep. Don't worry. I just need to figure this all out. Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's gotta be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. Chill in my bones that won't come out. So many nights out sleeping in the fog. Yes? Get to you sometimes. Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Heads up. Go on. Yes? track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So you're saying you could have done a better job of it? And no, it was a competition. Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, 
As a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Gosh, after a welcome this warm, who wouldn't want to just stay forever? This place isn't for you. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a simp, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You must have tons of friends with this attitude. I don't need friends. <clears throat> you want to buy something or what? What can you tell me about Acadia? It's smaller than I'd like it to be. But then, we don't exactly have the numbers to fill some place larger. Makes it easier to defend, anyway. Forget it. Did you want something or not? So, what's your story? I... I don't like talking about it. I made it to Acadia. That's what matters. Now that I'm here, I'm going to make sure nothing happens to it. Arcadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? Are you disappointed with what you found? I mean, look, I don't want to sound ungrateful. If it weren't for Arcadia and for Dima, I'd probably be dead. I guess I was just hoping for more somehow. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing. That she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. So now you're here. What comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. So you're that new gal from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here, Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Hmm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Excuse me. New girl, right? Must be, <laughs> because I don't recognize you. Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. 
What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? Sounds like you should get some help. Yes, right. Brilliant. If only I'd thought of that and, oh, I don't know, gone someplace to see synths that could help me. Like, maybe Acadia? Thanks so much for the advice. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Do you think you're better off? Now that you're here? Oh, absolutely. I don't have to pretend, I don't have to lie, and I don't worry that someone's gonna kill me in my sleep. Or worse. I'll see you around, okay? Hey. If it weren't for Dima, most of us would probably be dead. I can't wait to get out of here and travel. I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. And when down in my grave, the Hi. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? With a jug of punch at my head and my feet. Quaint. It's sort of an old world burn it to the ground and salt the earth kind of charm. Hmm, interesting. Of course it was already burned to the ground once. I'm not sure attempting that again would yield much. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it. And then, passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy. But I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that, uh, I don't know, that abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. <clears throat> can I help you? So, what's your story? Similar to most here, I think. I fled the Institute, feeling that anything else would be allowing myself to remain trapped, constantly in fear. I chose not to go into hiding, though. I felt, to do that, I'd lose what makes me... me. <sighs> Does that make sense? If I lost my life, that'd be one thing. To lose my identity, that was too much to bear. Thankfully, it never came to that. So, here I am. Hey, can I help you? I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island. A species of the genus Aster that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. What exactly is the point of all this? A mix of scientific inquiry and personal interest, I suppose. I'm curious about the changes the species has gone through over the centuries. I also find them beautiful. I have some flowers for you. Just what I was looking for. As promised, here are your caps.
<clears throat> Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. Have you looked around this place? Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So, come on. You want to do a little trading? So, what's your story? Me? <laughs> no story here. Not one that matters, anyway. Like I said, it's not worth holding on to. Nice of you to ask, though. something what's that you're working on just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable now do you mind telling me what you're doing here I'm a detective I was hired to find you you you're a what you came all this way for me you left without telling your folks why you must have known they'd be worried look my mom and dad I, I mean those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Listen. Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be... So much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret, a big secret, here, on this island? Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. 
I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I already found the key to that room. You did? Great! Come back as soon as you found anything. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. With a jug of punch at my head and my feet. Who do you think actually won the war? Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes in them. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but 
I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. got his fingers everywhere on this island and whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find hey hey Dima what can I do for you well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. I'm picturing your memories as just one massive holiday that the children of Adam are using as a coffee table. I suppose that's your version of, yes, I'll help? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me about Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit, 
and infiltrate the children of Adam, gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm gonna replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more... fuzzy. In all seriousness, good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. It's in all our best interest that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the Children of Adam, of course. About the Children of Adam, what do you know about them? Well, I heard about them a little bit back in the Commonwealth. Radiation worship, something like that. I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a Child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. All I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall? I'd be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck.